After maining this mouse for a year now, I thought it was time to share my thoughts on what makes this mouse so good and some of the problems it has that they could fix in the future. Let's start with the shape. Having these sides angle in rather dramatically feels amazing for claw style grips. This makes the mouse feel extremely secure in your hand and there's no way you can slip or fall out, especially during large mousepad swipes, and it also gives this great sense of control over the mouse. The negative camber to the front also lets you pull the mouse into your hand, emphasizing that sense of control. Many other popular mice have mostly straight sides or even a positive camber toward the front that makes pulling the mouse into your hand very difficult. The negative camber also allows for a very natural feeling grip where the pinky connects further out than the ring finger. The example I like to use is imagining if you were gripping a ball in your hand and seeing where your fingers sit. You can see the pinky sits out wider than the ring finger. It's not squeezed in like this, which a lot of ambidextrous mice force you to do. The back of the mouse curves in too much in my opinion. It really makes gripping the mouse with your knuckles a struggle. I've sort of gotten around this by adding some double-sided tape, so I don't have to squeeze in my thumb so much, but that doesn't solve everything. I think if they widened the pinky side in particular, it would let you grip the mouse straighter, although as soon as you do that, you then have to squeeze your pinky in more, so perhaps they'd have to compensate with a more aggressive taper. A claw grip, particularly with larger hands, will likely end up with quite a dramatic mouse angle. You can see in my case that the sensor is really skewed which can throw off your aim. I made a video about how to fix this that I've linked in the description, but ideally this shouldn't have to be a problem. Another potential problem with the mouse angle is where your mouse 1 and 2 fingers rest. For me, I click mouse 1 with only half the finger on the button and mouse 2 with half my finger, but from the side. Fortunately, the buttons actuate really well from anywhere on the button, so this hasn't really caused any issues for me outside of it feeling and looking a little strange. As for the overall size, I'd say this likely suits medium to large hands. Everything feels great for me at 20.5 by 10.5, except for the back which is a bit too small. I do think the mouse 1 and 2 are too high up. To compare, here is an XM1 next to it. If the charging cable is the issue, it'd be great to see that move to the back if possible, especially considering the near eternal battery life of this mouse. After a year of use, I feel like I've only charged it a handful of times and even then it charges very quickly. The mouse weighs in at 75 grams, which is on the heavier side for modern mice, but considering how securely you can grip it, it doesn't feel like a deal breaker. That being said, I'd still personally prefer an ultralight version if they offered it. The mouse sensor sits quite low, which in turn makes wrist aiming feel a bit slower than other mice. Now some people do prefer this, but I can't help but feel like the mouse would perform better overall with a slightly higher sensor position. The side buttons are great in my opinion. They're out of the way enough that you never accidentally hit them, but are large enough that when you do need them, there's no mistaking which one you're pressing and when the click is going to register. Now, onto my biggest gripe with this mouse, the lift-off distance. For a mouse so clearly designed for claw grip, it is baffling to me how low they've made the lift-off, while also not providing any way to change it. Raising the mouse the slightest amount can ruin your input, which is so disappointing for aimers like me that like to move the mouse around on the fingertips for fast flicks and excellent stopping power. Overall, I think the G303 Shroud Edition is an excellent mouse, which is why I've mained it since the day I opened it. It should suit people with medium to large hands that prefer claw grip, and if you're like me and hate having to squeeze your pinky in to grip a mouse, this could be the answer for you. If you're interested in the mouse and would like to support the channel, I do have an affiliate link to the mouse posted in the description that you can use. If they release another version of this mouse, I'd love it to be an ultralight with lower mouse 1 and 2, a slightly wider back and potentially more aggressive taper to compensate. The software absolutely needs a robust lift off setting and could also benefit greatly from a rotation setting so users can fix their sensor orientation in the Logitech software rather than having to use a third party tool. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe for more content like this and I'll catch you in the next one.